Hello and welcome to our second tutorial about variables and today uh, I will introduce uh, several types which we were not talking in our previous lesson because we were talking about integer numbers and integer type and double double type for uh, floating point numbers but there are also other primitive types so called primitive types character to express to hold uh, one sign just one sign for example a letter a and this uh, type is very rarely, rarely used sometimes in uh, arrays of characters so we will not talk about it more about character type and uh, the last uh, primitive type is boolean boolean type uh, holds uh, only two values uh, true or false so uh, sorry so we can declare a variable v as boolean and assign it uh, a value of true or we can declare a boolean character and assign value of false and uh, boolean operations are important uh, in conditional statements uh, we'll be talking in our one of our next tutorials and to let's uh, talk about uh, logical operators uh, we have four main logical operators one is uh, two equal signs if we want to compare two values so for example if we write two, two equal three it will be of course false because it is not true but if uh, let's declare a uh, uh, value of x as 10 and let's make a statement x equals 10 this is of course true <coughs> uh, so this is the comparison operator two equal signs we, we if we want to ask if some something is equals to something we must write two equal signs not just one and if we ask if something is not equal to something else we write a unequal operator so for example if we ask if x isn't equal to 10 it will tell false of course uh, if we ask if 10 is not equal to 11 is it, this is of course true because 10 is is not equal to 11 and next we have uh, the logical sum logical uh, uh, sorry uh, we have logical conjunction or logical multiplication operator to ampersands this is the end operator something uh, we call it in other languages the end this is logical end with so two ampersands is logical end and uh, from logics we know that true and true is of course true and true and false is always false because for this uh, expression to be true uh, both uh, sides of expression must be true so only true and true gives true true and false gives false and of course false and false gives false and uh, the next logical operator is uh, logical or or alternative and this is two pipes sign and this is the or operator logical alternative so uh, true and uh, true or true is always true and true or false is also true so the only case when this expression is false is if both sides are false 
So true and true gives true, true and false gives true also, because only one of those sides must be true to, for the value of this expression to be true. Only false and false gives false. Only false and false in this uh, expression with uh, logical OR operator gives false. So uh, those are four logical operators equals, not equal, and, and OR. Four logical operators. Uh, there is I'm I was talking about character uh, type of variable, but most mu much more often we use string type, which is not primitive type but a reference type. String is an object, but we declare a string variable in standard way, so we can declare string s equals to hello there, for example. And we can display later mm, this string by system of print line or something like, like that. We can join two strings like like this, uh, just uh, with plus sign. The next uh, type we will be talking about is uh, is uh, object type declared by uh, or class type. And uh, we'll be talking about it more in uh, our lessons about classes and objects, objective programming, uh, later on. But now I will only mention the arrays. So it, it will be, there will be separate lesson about arrays, but there, this is another complex type uh, array. Uh, now I, I would like to mention about uh, some notation. We should uh, name values uh, with called camel notation. Camel notation means that if the uh, name value consists in of two words, the second word should be should start with capital letter. Letter. So this is camel notation. For example integer camel notation equals 1 and we reference to this uh, variable by typing its long name so for example uh, we can have a variable of circ representing circle radius And we should name it a circle radius, starting with small c and uh, putting r in, cap in capital letter. So s double circle radius equals 10. And we can calculate, for example, circle uh, area with a well-known um, formula pi. Uh, multiplied by circle radi radius uh, to the power of 2. Oh, I'm sorry. Cir circle area, of course. <coughs> sorry, again. Circle area. So we have, of course, uh, the right answer: the circle area with, of circle with radius 10 is 314. Uh, okay, so thank you very much for uh, listening to this tutorial, and in the next tutorial we will be talking. Uh, about uh, methods. Thank you very much and see you again. Bye.